Shoshone Bannock Tribes, 477 Human Services Department, Orientation 2019. Welcome to the Shoshone Bannock Tribes 477 Human Services Department Orientation. At this orientation, you will learn what the department has to offer in the service limits, when services are available, where services are available, service areas, who is eligible for services under the 477 HSD, how to access services. We will also talk about your responsibilities throughout the process. We encourage you to ask questions as we go along. What is the 477 Human Services Department? The department is a consolidated program approved by the Fort Hall Business Council. The original consolidation occurred in 1994. Services under the department include 477 services, education, employment, training, and related services, cash assistance for individuals, families, and caretaker relatives, consumer services program, vocational rehabilitation program, tribal youth education program, adult protection program, and the tribal library. Orientation times. Orientation times will be Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m., Thursday at 8.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Who is exempt from coming to orientation? Elder clients who are 62 years of age or older and those who have a documented disability. Information packets will be provided to those clients. If you are coming in on behalf of someone else and you are not the primary client, then put the primary client's name on the sign-in sheet. Updates you need to know. Everyone will need to fill out a 477 application for any kind of service that you are requesting. Orientation will now be mandatory for everyone that is requesting services. Consumer Services Priority System. On October 1st, only elders over 62 and documented disabled clients can apply for essential services, energy, rental, and emergency services. On November 1st, families with children under 6 will be able to apply for essential services, energy, rental, and emergency services. On December 1st, everyone that is eligible will be able to apply for all services. 477 Human Service Goals 1. Increase access to opportunities for education, employment, training, and related services for the resident eligible population. 2. To reduce joblessness. 3. Assist and support individual and family efforts to become self-sufficient and responsible for their family and children. 4. To strengthen the tribe's ability to reach tribally determined goals consistent with the policy of Indian self-determination. 5. To reduce barriers to promote healthy lifestyles and cultural activities significant to the Shoshone Bannock tribal culture, teachings, and traditions. 6. Provide academic support to youth in grades K through 12 through the support of services that will increase Native student ISAT scores and increase the student graduation rates, address issues that contribute to student absenteeism and the student dropout rate. Introduction to 477 Human Services The 477 Human Services Department is designed to help community members in becoming self-sufficient and responsible for themselves, family, and children through training, education, and gainful employment. Services offered Temporary cash assistance, case management services, supportive services, personal basic needs, adult education and GED, higher education scholarship, rental assistance, adult protection, workforce training, short-term training, job readiness, work experience, employment assistance, technical training, summer youth program, after school program and tutoring, energy assistance, weatherization and repairs, emergency services, budget counseling, culture slash prevention activities, 
community events, and the tribal library. Zero Tolerance Zone All 477 locations and surrounding areas are zero tolerance zones. Persons under influence of alcohol or illegal substances will not be authorized for services and checks will not be released. Individuals who forcibly assaults, resists, opposes, impedes, intimidates, or interferes with any 477 staff or person will be asked to leave. This applies to all programs. If this behavior happens to one program, that means it happens to all programs. When necessary, the Fort Hall Police will be notified and charges may be filed. The 477 Application One application must be submitted per year. Every request may require updated information if the family status has changed, tribal identifications or certificate of Indian blood, social security cards for 477 eligibility, not for tribal member services, personal identification, birth certificate or other ID, income for the past 30 days for LIHEAP, income for the past six months for 477. Everything listed above is required for all members listed in household, verification of residency and number and family. If you already filled out an application and need another service, you must fill out a service request with supporting documentation. Applying for 477 services. If you are applying for other 477 services, like temporary cash assistance, education, or training services, you will need to fill out a supplemental packet. Details will be given to you in your packet at orientation. If you are applying for vocational rehabilitation services, you must be with the vocational rehabilitation front office directly for a different application. Eligibility for vocational rehabilitation services will be different than other 477 programs due to their unique requirements for determining services. Contact information. Please have a working telephone number or message number if you are applying for services through 477. Please put your phone number down on your 477 application and also on the service request form whenever doing a new request. Not having a working number or reliable message phone can delay your services or determination for eligibility for other services. With the new area code being in place, please put down your area code with your phone number. Eligibility for 477 services. Applications may be submitted to the 477 offices in the Old Fort Hall Casino or at the Consumer Services Office, Building Number 39. Applications that are incomplete will be sent a notice or contact will be made by phone to inform you of what documents are needed to complete your application. Eligibility will be determined when an application is complete. If you are eligible for other 477 services that was a part of your request, you will be notified by your assigned case manager. Continued eligibility for 477 services. When all documentation and the application is completed, then your application will be forwarded to the appropriate program for processing. Do not send any information or supporting documentation to anyone else other than the front office staff. To avoid being misplaced or lost, staff will not accept any applications or supporting documentation. Eligibility for each request does not constitute approval of services. The approval of services will be determined when you meet with your case manager. Personal Responsibility Contract, PRC all clients that are requesting 477 services must enter into a PRC. A PRC is a contract between 477 and the participant. The PRC outlines the goals and steps the participant will take towards achieving self-reliance. The PRC identifies expectations an individual must meet for continued services. The PRC contract is customized to each participant depending on their unique goals. The 477 will hold clients accountable for fulfilling the required goals set between the client and the program. 
failure to follow the PRC may result in a suspension of services until they are back in compliance. EET Education, Employment, and Training EET services are designed to provide academic slash technical education, work skills training, work experience, and job placement services. EET provides higher education scholarships to Shoshone Bannock tribal members, funding for vocational degrees, certification, apprenticeships, or equivalent. Who does EET service? Enrolled members of a federally recognized tribe, Alaskan or Hawaiian native, must be a resident of the Shoshone Bannock Tribe's service area, demonstrates the service request shall lead to employment and self-sufficiency. Higher Education Scholarships Semester or Quarterly Scholarships Travel Stipends Case Management FAFSA Assistance Information on Other Scholarships Supportive services, books and supplies, depends on eligibility and financial aid assistance, just for enrolled Shoshone Bannock tribal members. Vocational Technical Training Eligible members of all federally recognized tribes. Information on scholarships. Supportive services. Monthly or weekly stipend depends on location and classroom hours. Books and supplies depends on eligibility and financial aid assistance. Equipment depends on eligibility and financial aid assistance. Employment services helps participants log in for Department of Labor, job announcements in some employer applications, job search readiness, Resume and cover letter development, assistant job application process, information for upcoming workforce training, interview tips, mock interviews, employment assistance for new employment until the first paycheck is received. Training Work experience, job placement and training, computer lab short-term training, workforce classes, summer youth. GED and adult education program. Offers gain for pre-testing, assessment, and diagnostic for success on the GED test components, individualized instructions and support for the following, reasoning through language arts, mathematical reasoning, science, social studies, also offers literary and self-reliance workshops and classes. Tribal Youth Education Program Mission and Goals Mission The mission of the TYEP is to increase student ISAT scores, decrease student absenteeism, decrease the student dropout rate, increase high school graduation rate, and increase college preparedness of Indian students in this area. Goals to have educated tribal members, to build a skilled and more qualified workforce, to reduce unemployment, to have a productive leadership, to improve the quality of life through education, to make a difference for youth. Tribal Youth Education Program Services K-12 Advocacy for youth and families, provides resources for students slash families, college and career planning, classroom teacher observation, assist parents with academic services, assist families with special needs services, incorporates culture in the classroom, Indian Club Advisory, Pocatello SD 25, Provides leadership opportunities via Fort Hall Youth Council events slash activities. Provides mentoring opportunities. Summer school transportation coordination. Boarding school registration assistance. Collaboration with local school districts. Attendance follow-ups. Academic reviews. Public hearings. 
advocacy for at-risk youth with probation status, incarceration, and child protection issues, summer and after-school reading slash math programming, financial assistance with paying school fees, ED tours, student activity, backpack and school supplies distribution, Res Y graduation recognition, and the Idaho Youth Challenge Academy. Temporary Cash Assistance Temporary Cash Assistance serves needy families and individuals requiring services to meet their basic living needs while working towards self-sufficiency. Temporary Cash Assistance is not a long-term assistance. Participants must be fully engaged in a work activity and or barrier removal. Work participation requires 20 to 25 hours per week and verified. GA slash TANF must have monthly reports turned in by the 5th of each month. Requires a personal responsibility contract. Sanctions will be applied for non-compliance with PRC and work participation requirements. Maintain contact with your assigned case manager. Vocational Rehabilitation the Vocational Rehabilitation, SBVR, is a job assistance and readiness service that is designed to help disabled Native Americans. Clients that sign on to the VR program must meet certain criteria by qualified personnel in order for them to be eligible for services. Clients must have a documented disability that would have a substantial impediment to employment for the applicant. Potential clients will also need to meet with a certified VR counselor to determine what kind of services they will need. Please note that services for the VR is something that takes time to develop. Do not expect services as soon as you apply for them. Consumer Services Program, CSP. The Consumer Services Program, CSP, is a supportive service program that helps with energy assistance, non-energy assistance, weatherization, and emergency services. Consumer Services' primary focus is to assist the most vulnerable populations with energy assistance. Clients that are eligible for federal services like energy assistance is any federally recognized Native American. Clients that are requesting non-energy services have to be a member of the Shoshone Bannock Tribes. CSP Tribal Member Services Supportive service requests is based on needs, must be justified with supporting documentation such as bill, invoice, or quote. Primary purpose of supportive services are to remove barriers inhibiting a client's ability to focus on living needs, work, and education. Services are limited based upon availability of funding. Most services offered are once every fiscal year, October 1st through September 30th. CSP Priority System The system has been developed to help the most vulnerable population around the reservation. Elders over 62, disabled, families with small children under the age of 6, low-income families of individuals, over-income Shoshone Bannock tribal members. Priority system will be for applications, weatherization, wood, limited funding. CSP Emergency Emergency services are situations that threaten the loss of life, limb, or property. The situation must be beyond the control of the client. Every emergency request will be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Example, natural disasters. Adult Protection Program The Adult Protection Services oversees over 375 cases yearly addressing self-neglect, neglect, exploitation, and domestic slash elder abuse, assists with Elder slash vulnerable adult protection orders, guardianship, power of attorneys, probates, Indian wills, and welfare checks. Hosts the annual Taking a Stand Against Elder Abuse Prevention event the third week in May. Was recently added under the 477 Human Services Department. 
Marcia Hall is the adult protection worker, currently located at the Tribal Justice Center. Computer Labs Computers are located in the 477 office area in the Old Fort Hall Casino Computer Lab area. Computers for youth are available at TYEP. Computers are for educational related use in job search only. Participants are to follow the rules and regulations as outlined in the Shoshone Bannock Tribe's Internet Policy. Any illegal or unauthorized use of a computer may result in loss of computer privileges. Please log off and do not save anything on the computer when you are done. Note, please have your own flash slash jump drive to save your information. Tribal Library Library is located in the Old Fort Hall Casino building and by the computer lab. Local and other newspapers are available to read. Books are available for reading and for checkout. Please be careful with all books, magazines, and newspapers. Please watch over your children when utilizing the library. Reading is good for the mind. Processing Services Service requests to the client may take 7 to 14 working days to process. Emergency requests can be processed sooner, but it must be a legitimate emergency that compromises the safety of the client that was unforeseen and beyond their control. There will be no exceptions for missing orientation, regardless of a shutoff or not. Vendor payments will be mailed from the Tribal Finance Department to the vendor per Tribal Finance Policy. Do not call other departments like Finance, Property, Debbie, Michelle Perdash, Ida, Tilda, and Winona about your approval of services. If you have any questions about your service, you'll need to talk to your case manager. Payments All payments will be processed in accordance with the tribe's financial policies and procedures. Energy assistance benefits will be processed weekly. Your approved benefit may be posted to your energy account for 30 to 45 days. Direct deposit. If you are on the direct deposit list for per capita payments, your assistance will be deposited into your bank account. Make sure that your account is not in the negative. Direct services cannot be recovered if your account is in the negative. If you do not have direct deposit or want to make other arrangements, a check will be processed for you. Checks will be distributed on Fridays. Emergency Situations An emergency on your part does not constitute an emergency on our program. Even though emergency situations may happen, Clients should plan accordingly and act quickly to avoid emergencies becoming worse than they are now. However, if the emergency is a risk of loss of life, limb, or property, we will do everything in our ability to assist you. Please keep in mind that the sooner you bring in your request, the sooner we can assist you with your request. Do not procrastinate. If you bring in anything after 3 p.m., the likelihood of us assisting you is very low. Exceptions will be elders with an immediate threat to their energy disruption in their home. Appeal and Hearing Procedures If you are denied services from the Consumer Services Program, you have the right to appeal the decision. A client must start the process within 10 working days of the date of denial occurred. Step 1. Appeal must be in writing to the Consumer Services Program Manager. Step 2. A meeting will be held between the Consumer Services Program Manager, Household Budget Counselor, and Client immediately upon receiving of the written complaint. If the appeal is not resolved, the process will then move to the next step. Step 3. A hearing shall be scheduled with the client and all the above parties involved with the 477 Human Services Program Director. This shall be the final process for appeal. In any of the steps in where the Consumer Services Manager or the 477 Director sides with the client in the appeal process, the service will be authorized immediately. All complaints and appeals that submitted to the Fort Hall Business Council or the Executive Office are encouraged to follow the established appeal and hearing procedures. The procedures have been approved by the Fort Hall Business Council and our grantor agency. 
A copy of this procedure shall be issued to you at the end of this orientation and upon request. 477 Program Client Appeal Slash Complaint Policy and Procedure Client Appeal Slash Grievance System A participant who believes that their rights have been violated by any 477 program staff may file a complaint. A participant who is dissatisfied with an adverse case action may file an appeal. Each step of the appeal slash complaint procedures must be followed and filed within a specific time frame or the complaint will be dismissed. Procedure. Step 1. The participant must try to resolve the issue between themselves and the staff member slash employee involved. If an applicant or participant is dissatisfied with their decision, they must first seek resolution with their case manager within five days of their decision. This meeting is an informal method to resolve the issue. However, if a resolution is not reached, then the applicant or participant has the option to pursue a formal hearing. Step 2. Make a written appeal or complaint within 10 days of the decision. For a hearing with the appropriate program manager, the manager shall render a decision of the appeal within five working days to unacceptable, then the, com then the applicant or participant may proceed to step three. Step three. If the applicant or participant is dissatisfied with the manager's decision in step two, they have the right to submit within 10 days of a written request for an administrative review with the 477 Human Services Director. Thank you for attending the 477 Human Services Department Orientation. Let your facilitator know if you have any questions. Specific questions about your case should be directed to your case manager. Specific case information can only be released to the participant or client over 18.